we spend a lot of time at uh, Pivot Bio thinking about how you actually measure the performance of a nitrogen fixing microbe like Pivot Bio Proven. That conversation with a grower always includes yield and, and rightly so. But we think about other ways to measure the performance of our nitrogen fixing microbe as well. In 2020, we had several different types of grower trials where we ask our customers to split their fields with and without Pivot Bio Proven. We also ask them to leave a reduced nitrogen strip in those fields. And our mission was to look at nitrogen concentration, whole plant biomass, and then also plant population. You can use those three metrics to actually calculate nitrogen on a pounds per acre basis. These data were generated from over 12 states, represented over a million data points, more than 46 farm locations, and more than 43 farmers involved in uh, much of the performance data. If you're in the nitrogen fixing micro business like Pivot Bio Proven, you could not have asked for two better years to, to test uh, a nitrogen fixing micro. 2019 was an extremely wet year, very high nitrogen loss year. Comparatively, 2020 was a very dry year and actually a very high nitrogen use efficiency year. And despite that, our nitrogen fixing micro still generated positive yield responses, even in areas of pretty severe drought across the U.S. If you take all of those observations directly from customers, Pivot Bio Proven ended up producing a yield increase of about 4.3 bushels per acre across all of those locations with a 72% win rate overall. We also mentioned that many of uh, the growers uh, included a reduced nitrogen strip. The Pivot Bio Proven Microbe in a reduced nitrogen zone actually increased yields 3.1 bushels per acre compared to the standard nitrogen practice, indicating that in many environments, we will be able to reduce nitrogen and maintain or exceed corn yields uh, compared to a farmer standard nitrogen practice. So we've talked about yield for a little while. Let's shift the conversation now and talk about whole plant nitrogen that we introduced earlier in the presentation. Here you're looking at data from over 60 farm locations, uh, probably about 90 total sampling points. And what we found out is that in about 70% of the locations, we had a positive response to whole plant nitrogen and the average increase in nitrogen across all of these locations was about 17.3 pounds of nitrogen per acre. From a statistical standpoint, that was a range of about 10 to 25 pounds of extra nitrogen associated with the Pivot Bio Proven Micro. That, if you assume a 58% harvest index, should equate to an increased yield potential in these plants of six to 14 bushels per acre. Now, as we all know, nitrogen is not always the limiting factor uh, for yield, but this demonstrates that the microbes set these plants up for success, put more nitrogen in the plants, captured more nitrogen per acre, and if conditions were right after that nitrogen was captured, you can assume that much of that nitrogen ended up producing a yield difference as well. In 2019, on the whole plant nitrogen front, we went out and sampled responsive locations. A responsive location would be defined as a location where we saw a visible growth response associated with the microbe. We found that the microbe in 2019 produced a pounds of nitrogen per acre increase of about 38 pounds at responsive sites. In 2020, the actual pounds of nitrogen increase associated with the Pivot Bio Proven Microbe was about 39 pounds per acre. This is a very consistent uh, response across two years, one being extremely wet and one being extremely dry. It really gives you an idea of what kind of the upper end nitrogen capture potentially is for the performance of our nitrogen fixing microbe as well. 